coordinates received. Ten minutes out. Try not to blink. You won't want to miss this. Don't worry, I'm present. Every speck of dust is fine. I feel like I'm getting the measure. Do you fully do not understand? Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So we are here to kind of discuss on who to select the best uh, for the selector ticket. Although the selector ticket will come after the main story, normal 5-12, you will actually have an idea already on who to get based on the things that we're going to quantify them and based on the existing characters that you have already in your roster when you clear main story normal 5-12. So take note, these characters are orange tier operatives. They are actually the top tier in terms of rarity. So they are you know, uh, sought after uh, most definitely in this game. So who to get? in the selector ticket so we have four criteria to meet so first and foremost is who do you have at um, at that point again that is the first criteria who what which characters do you have already in your pool that really dictates who you're going to select because let's say for example if you already have yao obviously you don't get yao you get another unless you want to get a copy of yao then you go for it but technically you should have you should go after a different character especially if you're starting out in the game so that is it who is in your roster who is in your pool second is the weapon type because each of these characters have a different weapon type and they have various uses as you know you have your smg your rifle you have your um you have your sniper rifle and you have your shotgun so again it really boils down to what do you need at that point and who you want to pick third would be their skills whether it be for support or for primary or for their ultimate we're going to take a look at that after this one for each character and eventually i'm gonna give you guys my preference on preference or suggestion because again um, my suggestion is going to sound, you know, sound, uh, what do you call this? It's going to sound right after we have discussed each of the characters in this selector ticket. So without further ado, we're going to be discussing Yao. So Yao is basically your first sniper. There are, there are two snipers in this pool you have marian and her so for yao she is a thermal damage um going back to the pool the ones that i actually used were only got the opportunity to use was yao fenny and life wild hunt so marian i wasn't able to use i don't think she was available at orange tier yet during that time and frisha as well i had i haven't had the opportunity to use as well but all three yao fenny and life for their orange tier i was able to use and test already so again going back to yao yao um standard skill really really nice um, support skill is also one of the I think for me is one of the best supports that you can have but for Yao for you to select her if you don't have Yao yet or if you don't have um, if you don't have somebody on SMG and rifle definitely you should pick those first Yao would be second so Yao would be at this point I'm telling you guys would be ranked second in terms of your pick she is very situational because she uses a sniper rifle but she is going to be perfect for all 
the skills, especially for support, especially if she fits the situation for a sniper. Um, her standard and ultimate skills are very, very good. So moving on to the next. So she is my second preference, actually. Next is Fanny Coronet. I have had the the weird, uh, what they call this, uh, privilege of having multiple copies of Fanny when I played uh, CBT. Um, tested her out. Again, she's pretty much very, very obviously good in close combat because she is a shotgun, of course. But her support skill, if you put her as support, you're, by the way, allowed two supports, unless if they've changed that. So you have a main character, then you have two supports on your team. So she is actually my other support, which encourages teammates increase shooting speed of operatives in the field. So again, you may have her as your primary, but definitely she's going to be struggling with long range hits so she's going to be perfect for for close range and um i'm going to be putting her on the side first i'm not going to be ranking her so yao second in terms of your pick for fenny it really depends on what Frisha's kit is so they might go either third or fourth so that those are clues already on who to pick so but Again, Fanny is good for, for close range. She's one of the best. And um, she gives a buff, a shooting speed buff to your team. So let's move to the next one, which is going to be Marion, I think. So Marion Swift is your other sniper. Um, her skills, her kit is, is, is actually kind of similar. To Yao at this point, but um, I believe Yao has more value in her skills. Um, for me, I think her skills are hard to pull off, especially that this requires targeting for you to pull it off. So, firing one empowered target, a uh, shot at a target, dealing kinetic damage, knocking back all targets. You have to hit somebody to knock them all back. While um, we need a specific support skill that can knock everybody back, especially if they're rushing you. So Marion definitely would be your fifth preference out of the five. So if you already have Yao, but if you're, you know, if you're looking for another sniper, then go for Marion. But again, I would highly recommend you go for Marion as your primary sniper. So. Next up is Life Wild Hunt. So for Life, um, I was able to play her um, in the last part of the CBT. I got a copy of her. Um, her her previous incarnation, the, the regular one, the regular one, she was actually great already because she brought an SMG. She was perfect for close and uh, mid-range. Not so much for, for targets afar, but again, that could be remedied because you definitely will have a long range support that you can sub in. So that is why your long range, um, what do you call this? Your long range um, characters will be more in your supporting role, not in your main role. For her, she's, she answers a lot of your problems in close and medium range. For life, again, she, um, she is. She has an improved version of her kit for her original version. This one, her standard skill is going to be very, very nice because it has frost damage, and um, it really um, helps you push enemies backward um, or hold them to the ground. Sorry. So for her support skill, you can actually have her a support skill as well. So again. For Frost, for the for ability for Frost, she's, I think, one of the best uh, all-around characters that you can bring, aside from her weapon, also her kit. So this is actually my number one preference or pick for this selector ticket. And we move on to the last one, which is Frisha. So unfortunately for Frisha, we don't have her skills. Um, I didn't find um, the list of her skills. But definitely, she is going to be up there either your second pick, second preference, or, or third preference. 
because she is actually carrying a rifle. So your rifle is going to be one of your top preferences in terms of weapon, whether it be um, mid-range or uh, long range. So and also you can you can use a rifle for even close range. So again, this makes her highly you know highly sought after just for the weapon her um, itself. So again for Frisia, I'm gonna hold judgment but she can be your second or third preference okay so i'm just gonna be recapping all of these guys so fifth preference will go to to marian obviously she's a second sniper in this list you don't need a second sniper yao will be one of your best snipers in the game fourth preference this is going to be difficult because um, it's going to be either Fenny or Frisia. Not even. It's 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 going to be... Let, let, let's put Frisia at fourth at preference in terms of selector. So fourth is going to be Frisia. Third preference is going to be Fenny. Second preference is going to be Yao. And first preference is going to be Life. So Life, life first, Yao second third would be Fanny, Frisia would be fourth, and Marion would be fifth. It really depends, guys, again, on what existing characters you have up until the time you use your selector. So, but again, for this banner, if you don't have any of these characters, go for life if you need an all-around character here. Um, if Frisia's kit is going to be good, then definitely she will go up. But your one and two would be life first, Yao second for the pick or preference for the selector ticket. So again, I hope this helps you guys. Um, again, I don't have any data much for Marion and Frisia. Only Yao and Fenny have played. So hopefully that helps and uh, hopefully... I can give you guys more information on the game, especially for CBT. Um, I'll be putting out a comparison on the changes, the current changes, and the CBT. Uh, probably a, just a discussion video on the, what are the current changes that they're applying versus on what I experienced during the, what do you call this, the exact CBT. So hopefully, guys, um, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.